Welcome to Accounting 101. I am Kim Rohr and I will be your instructor for the next 14 weeks. I want to cover in this video some introduction information about me, information about the class, and go over the schedule. I have been teaching part-time at KVCC for 17 years. I have taught Accounting 101, Accounting 109, Business 101, Business 105, Business 111, Business 121, and Business 224. I recently retired from teaching high school business classes after 25 years. I also have a, another part-time job besides teaching at KVCC as a merchandiser for American Greeting. Here I put up cards, gift wrap bags, and so on. I service stores in the Plainwell and Otsego and Allegan area. I have been married to my husband for 32 years. He works at USG in Otsego, it's a paper plant, as a maintenance supervisor. We have a 24-year-old son who has graduated from Plainwell in 2015 and got his degree in finance in 2019 from Davenport University. He will be getting married in May of 2022 to a Swedish native and will be moving to Sweden in January of 2022. I also serve as a director on the board of directors at Arbor Financial Credit Union. I have been on the board for 12 years. It is a volunteer position, but I love serving the board and being part of the decision-making process. In this class, we will be covering the basics of accounting. We will begin with a sole proprietorship, a one-owner business. All of our companies until chapter five will be service businesses, laundry mats, car wash, hair salon, delivery services, and so on. And then we will move to merchandising companies. We will be learning the accounting equation, debits and credits, financial statements, inventory, accounts receivable, payroll, and ethics. Let's go ahead and look at the syllabus. It is located in Canvas. There is an orientation to Canvas, which I highly recommend that you go through if you've not used Canvas before. The link for the orientation is in the introduction section of Canvas. To log into Canvas, you go to canvas.kvcc.edu. Once you are in the Canvas dashboard, you will click on Accounting 101. That will take you into our class. You will click on the syllabus and find the syllabus and the schedule for the class. I am going to be honest and tell you that this class is going to be a lot of work. You have to work hard, complete the homework, and not procrastinate. You will spend between five and seven hours a week on this class. The best way for us to communicate in an online class is by email. You can take pictures or screenshots of your work if it is not balancing and send it to me. If you don't understand a transaction, you can email me and say, I don't understand this. I will check my email during the day and on weekends. I do have two face-to-face -face classes on Monday and Wednesday night and Tuesday, Thursday mornings. So if I don't get back to you right away, go on to another problem and I will get back to you. I do not answer emails after nine o'clock p.m., but I do again answer on weekends. Email me. I will get back to you before you might get up if you email me after nine o'clock. And um, please never feel that you are bothering me. This is our best way to communicate since we are online. Um, it is best if you don't use Canvas to send messages. Sometimes I don't get those for a couple, three hours. And then, um, you know, you might be wondering where, why haven't I answered? Because I usually answer within an hour or so please just email me through KVCC, that works the best. We will have some time when I might offer to meet on Zoom um, for a review before the test. It just depends on how my schedule is going. It may or may not work out with your schedule. I do realize that, but I may offer that. Otherwise, I will, before tests, um, give you some problems to go back and look over. But we'll get to that later on. We are going to hit the road running, so please make sure you have the textbook. We will be using it right away. It can be a printed version, or we do have another option, which I'll explain in just a second. We do have a new book this semester. It's the 25th anniversary, I'm sorry, 25th edition of the book. So here is our book, and it, it has the um, backpacker on the front, but please make sure that you do get the 25th edition. Um, it's also in the, the syllabus um, 
with the authors and things if you want to try and find it online. But the bookstore does have, have the book as well. If you'd rather have an electronic book rather than a hard copy, you can purchase access to an ebook through McGraw Hill Connect. They sell the access cards in the bookstore at KBCC, or you can purchase access to the ebook right from Canvas. So you would go to Canvas on the left side of the screen, there is a link to the McGraw Hill Connect. If you click on that, then you'll go in and you will um, sign up for Connect. And so you'll uh, put in your email address and I, maybe a password, I can't remember. And then you will use your, um, your access card. If you purchase access through the bookstore, um, you can just put in your code. Otherwise, um, you can purchase the ebook right from Connect. Um, there is a two week courtesy. And then after that, then they will ask for payment through a debit or a credit card. But again, if you'd rather have the ebook, you can purchase that right through um, the link in Canvas. Or I do have, um, if you have your access card, I do have instructions on how you can just go ahead and enter that in um, in the introduction section of, of Canvas. All right, so please make sure that you print the demos and the homework papers. Um, we do our, our homework uh, paper pencil. These are all located in Canvas. So chapter one will be together, chapter two, and so on. You can go to camp, campus and use the computers and the printers. I will only post one chapter at a time. We will begin each chapter with a demonstration problem to prepare you for the homework for the chapter. So if you watch the video and have your demo papers out, you'll follow along as we go through. All the demos are uploaded to YouTube and you can view them um, and complete it, like I said, as you go through it. When you get to YouTube, at the top of the, the uh, screen, once you click on the video link in Canvas, there's going to be a dark gray box at the very top. Click on that and that will take you right into YouTube. If you click in the middle of the screen, it's gonna say that you don't have access. So click at the very top in the dark gray area and then you'll be able to get into the YouTube video. Um, the demos in a normal face-to-face -face class have been very successful. So please access and view these for the chapter. So it will go over everything that we're gonna learn in that chapter. So it gives you very good um, instructions and, and uh, problems um, that we do together so that you can complete your homework. After the demo, demo, you will follow your schedule for the homework from the textbook. There is a module section in Canvas and this is where you will find the homework papers and the demos for each chapter. You should print those out so that you can complete the homework assigned. I will collect some homework and other homework will be gone over for clarity. There will also be a link in, in uh, Canvas under the same chapter for a YouTube video that goes over the homework answer so that you can check your work and see what you might need to uh, continue working on. When you do upload any assignments that I do collect, you will need to scan your documents. You can use a CAM scanner at camscanner.com. It's free to college students. Or you can use notes in an iPhone or on an Android phone, you can use the Google Drive app. You can even use the old fashioned way and scan it on your printer if you have a scanner. Some students take pictures of them and convert them to a PDF. Either way you do it, just make sure that the file is a PDF and not a JPEG or a pages file. I will not accept those file types at all. So make sure that they're a PDF. To be successful in this class, you will need to view the YouTube videos, complete the homework, upload homework through Canvas that I will be collecting, and make sure you are checking your KVCC email continuously through the semester or the announcements um, part of Canvas. We will have five exams during the class. Accounting is cumulative by nature, so what we learn in chapter two will build off of chapter one. What we learn in chapter three will build off of chapter two and so on. I will be collecting homework, so please make sure you turn in what I let you know I will be collecting. You can look for that in the assignment section. No homework will be accepted late, so please make sure you turn in the homework on time. All homework will be, again, um, collected um, through Canvas in a PDF file only. I grade the homework right on Canvas so that you can see what you did well on and what you might need to improve on. We will have a couple of fun projects dealing with ethics and researching a country of your choice. 
We will also complete a project using Excel or Google Sheets. So those, those um, assignments will be done in Word or Excel or Google Sheets or Google Docs, and those will um, you can upload those right as those files are. The rest of the syllabus you can read for yourself. I just wanted to highlight the main parts. Please pay very close attention to the academic dishonesty section as you are reading the syllabus. The schedule. It's also located in Canvas under the syllabus. If you would pull that up on your computer or if you've already printed it, get that out. The date column is the column that you should be working on currently. So let me show you that here. So here is our date column right here. And then um, the classwork is what we'll be doing for the chapter. And then the homework column is what you need to complete. So here is the, the what we're working on for the, the classwork. And then this is going to be your homework. So for January 10th, you'll make sure you viewed this video, read the syllabus, and looked at the schedule. Then on January 12th through 17th, view and complete the Chapter 1 demo, complete the homework listed, turn in work collected, and view the homework video to see how you did on the homework. January 21st will be the first half of Chapter 2. And January 22nd through the 30th is the second half of Chapter 2. Chapter two is split into two sections because we do um, T accounts and then we learn debits and credits. So I split chapter two in half. View the chapter two demo. It's broke up into two parts. Complete the homework. Turn in any work collected and view the homework video to see how well you did on the homework. Now where you're going to find the problems for, um, for the work that's in the uh, schedule is you're going to go to the end of the chapter. So then let me show you here. So for um, January 12th through the 17th, this is going to be the homework that you're going to work on here. Okay, so you have quick studies, exercises, and problems. So for the first one for quick study 2-2, what you're going to do is you will look in the book, and here, here is quick study uh, 1, 11, and so on. Let me flip back a page here. There we go. So here's quick study 2-2 down here, and that's on page 23. And then your other quick studies will be over on the next page, quick study 1-6, and so on. So that's how you will go through and look for your homework. Then after that is the exercises. That's the next page is your exercises start down here. And then the problems are towards the next part here. There's a lot of exercises in this chapter. Um, and so prob then the problems will start over on uh, page 32. Of the now, when you get your homework papers um, and you pull those up and you're ready to print those, you're gonna notice that um, like for chapter one, uh, you only have to do quick study one, two, one, six, one, seven, and one, twelve. Well, quick study one, two might be the only um, item that you complete on that first page. There might be quick study one, 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 three, and one, four. You're only responsible for what is listed in the assignment column of your schedule. So if there's other problems or exercises or quick studies on that page of the homework papers that I give you, you are only responsible for these. So don't do anything extra unless you want to but this is all that you're responsible for. And then um, we will have serial problems and those are, we don't do those until chapter two. There's instructions for those um, in, in the book and in Canvas, so make sure you read those. And then we're gonna company um, called Business Solutions. Santana Ray is the owner and uh, we will be working um, with her business for several chapters doing a serial problem on that. All right, so we only use the first 11 chapters in the book, um, and then um, if you do continue on in accounting and you take Accounting 109, I believe that we're still going to use that book for Accounting 109. All right, time management and planning, so important. The schedule has all of the due dates and what to work on and, and when, and in Canvas, there's a calendar as well with the due dates listed and the assignment section of Canvas has the due dates too. It's very imperative that 
uh, you have some type of planner or that you're looking at that calendar and the schedule continuously through the semester. That will make you successful. That will make it so that you don't miss any due dates. We will have our first test on February 1st, which you will take that online. Everybody gets one day to take the test. It opens at midnight and it closes at 11.59, or I guess you should say 12 o'clock a.m. and closes at 1.59 p.m. that same day. I do give a review. Um, Again, if I if I can do the the Zoom review and invite all of you, I will do that. Otherwise, there is a, a written review that will be available January 31st. I think that's pretty much everything that we need for the class. Um, as things come up, I will send out announcements or email. So please make sure you do check your email and the announcements part of Canvas. I do put all grades in Canvas. Um, and those grades, I, I have a one day turnaround. I usually try to get everything graded and in to um, Canvas the next day. So please um, make sure that you are keeping up on, on checking your grades. If you have any other questions as we begin the class, please let me know. I look very much forward to working with all of you during the semester. Um, the class I think you will find is, is very um, easy to follow. Um, it's just like what I do in the face-to-face -face class, um, and except for talking with you face-to-face. Um, -face. So um, again, let me know if you have any questions as we begin, and I um, hope all of you uh, will please make sure you, you learn something with the class and stay with the class, and that um, you have a very successful semester. Thank you.